So we've got some bike trade here. We're just gonna try to give this guy a little bit of energy. <clears throat> so it's got um, salt and sugar. So the body really wants sugar in the process of absorbing the sugar across the gut lining, pulls the salt across, salt stays in the cell, pulls water into the calf and it rehydrates him. So it's gonna give him some energy and hydration. This is going to my draw calf feeder. These are really bomb diggity. This little guy on the end is something you feel for a calf like him that won't stand up. You just kind of get him sternal. And then we're just gonna feed this down his little throat. Hey, little button, let us in. Let us in, let us in, let us in. Now, if it's in the right spot, we can feel it. You see that ball right there? See that little spot right there moving? So we're in the right spot. If that was in his trachea, we wouldn't be able to see it. So, and then we just tip this up and glug, glug, glug. Life sustaining sustenance. So it's a great way to get, like if you can milk out the mom and get a bit of colostrum in it this way, um, this is a great way to get fluids into the guy rather than sitting around because he's low on energy. Nah, nah, nah. So if you just give it to him this way, it's kind of like force feeding him. It'll get his wheels under him and then hopefully he'll stand up and glom onto mom and we'll be off to the rodeo. So I'll give you a few of these sachets. Uh, you want to not mix them with milk because it can interfere with the way the milk clots, but try to give him a milk feed and maybe a couple hours later, smoke him with a, a liter of this. And then try to give him another milk feed and eventually he'll get his wheels under him and he'll be off to the rodeo. Sounds good. You can stop if you like.